that is right we are returning for my favorite time of the week where we watch community with your faces here on the youtube platform i'm excited i am so excited last week we had troy's birthday as an episode which was possibly one of my favorite episodes i love that episode a lot it was really great um but yeah i'm excited i never know what i'm getting into with these episodes every day because it's always a surprise and these shows or this show at least tends to just always throw me the most random things imaginable so if you guys are excited for today's episode do me a favor like subscribe and share that would help me out by helping you out by helping me out so do that please thank you and help me say thank you to the members by typing thank you members in the comment section below for sponsoring this video and every other video that we have they're amazing people they do such amazing things and i love them could not do this without you guys thank you and uh, yeah, kind of don't want to waste time. Just kind of want to get right into this one. So let's roll the bumper. Unpaid rental. Unpaid rental. Unpaid rental. It's that very special um, time of year, Greendale. Why are we in claymation? Why, why are we? Why are we here? Okay. This, okay. This is gonna be fun. All right. Merry Christmas, everybody. Don't you mean season's greetings? Come on, Shirley. Yeah, Shirley, come on. Yes, but as a modern Christian, I've learned to be sensitive to other cultures' jealousies. Uh, jealousies is crazy. Fake murdering people? It's gonna be my new holiday tradition. Yeah. It'll be fun. This is disappointing. How? Religiously, I'm Muslim, but I've always been a big fan of Christmas. Yeah, why wouldn't he be? This Christmas is amazing. In the history of the universe. I'm assuming that's why we're all stop motion animated. Yeah, I... It... I vote we let it go. <laughs> what did you say we were, Abed? <laughs> motion animated. I don't understand what he's saying. I never understand what any of you are saying. You guys don't see it? I noticed it this morning. That's how I knew it was a special Christmas. We clearly entered a whole new meeting. How do you guys not notice this? Clearly mean the same thing to you as it does to normal people? Jesus. It's probably Arabic from not clearly. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we can you stop. You really expect me to tarnish the high five for that? <laughs> you guys really don't see what I'm seeing? That worries me a little. That, sh that would. That worries all of yeah. us. Is there something that we can do to help you with your situation abed for starters you can move around more not much point in being animated if you don't yeah and I true think we should commit to the format starting with a song yeah <laughs> is this gonna be a musical one? Oh wait trees, dude nice oh my god <laughs> okay this is awesome i wish i knew this was coming i probably would have saved this for christmas but that's not for a while now so oh well i would have gotten changed in my christmas clothes <laughs> damn this is cool. I love it. Love it. Damn. Okay. Abed's uncontrollable Christmas. Is that what it said? Are they still made of clay? <laughs> I told you we're not clay. We're silicone dolls with foam bodies over ball and socket armatures. Fascinating. Okay. And you say you have no memory of this morning. You don't recall the emotional crisis that caused you to take shelter in this delusion. It's not a delusion. I don't know. I, I, I think it would be pretty delusional to think you're in claymation. I'd like to do extensive sessions with you, including hypnosis. I don't need therapy. Nobody said you did. I just think it would benefit you and... As something's got to help. I, this is so strange. The meaning of all this. You're right. That's it. I need to find the meaning of Christmas. Ah, well. If I can find the meaning of Christmas, everything will go back to normal. Asterisk. I Asterisk. <laughs> sad quick Christmas song. Sad quick sad Christmas. Sad quick Christmas snowman. Tragic day gone This wrong. is so interesting. Why did they do this? Why? Like, what made them come up with this idea? Apparently, oh, damn. he's getting fondled by singing mental cases. Jesus. My snowman is alive. Snowman? I'm Chang. What the hell's wrong with wait, you? Wait, why was that Chang? You made me need to cry in the shower tonight. It's a text from Britta. She says the meaning of Christmas is in the study room. Hey, now that you started it, how about ten more seconds on that third button? Huh? Oh, come on. Oh, my God. You lied to lure me into a group therapy session? Yeah. Surprise. Here, so you promise not to do that. Surprise. <laughs> Surprise. I'm not just a psych professor. I'm also a Christmas wizard. You are? I am. I can help you find the meaning of Christmas. <laughs> Okay. I guess I can see that. How are you? I just want to know why. Like, I am just so curious on the creative decision behind this. So what do we do? Well, with your permission, I'd like to put you into a state of Christmas gnosis and take you on a magic journey. To Winter Wonderland? To Winter sure. Wonderland? Your own personal Winter Wonderland. Come on, everyone. 
You all know how magic Christmas journeys work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're playing with so much fire. <laughs> Shut up, Winger. Hands on the table. With each breath, you'll feel. It's beginning. All right then. The table's moving. What? Like, like a rocket about to take off. Now it's leaving the floor. It's all the oh the shit! What is happening? Oh, and what's that up ahead? Oh, it's planet Arbed. Subtle. Subtle. <laughs> You might notice that during our journey, you've transformed into Christmas versions of yourselves. Jeff in the box. Nice. That's cool. Ah. Troy Soldier. Cool. Do I have a gun? You have a drum. Cool. <laughs> Bleep, bloop. Teddy Pierce. Bleep, bloop for me, too. Hey, you're... Okay. Let's head for the North Pole. The meaning of Christmas will be there. Um, well... well yeah, sure. Ovid, I don't... Come with me and walk with me. See what we can find. This isn't going to be fun, easy, or safe. Or safe. Fair warning, guys. A journey through Winter Wonderland tends to test your commitment to Christmas. So when I say test, I mean Wonka style. My advice: stay honest, stay alert, and for the love of God, stay between the gun. Oh my God, that creepy snowman. That was spooky. Jeez, maybe if you cry enough, it'll change you. Uh, you do know why he said you were a robot, right? Because I'm progressive and kick ass. How about heartless and godless? Heartless and godless. We're looking for the meaning of Christmas. Uh, you know what, Abed? I happen to know the meaning of Christmas, and I'm pretty sure I'm the only one here that does. So I would appreciate a certain level of respect, even if I am a guest. Stop demanding me respect, Shirley. I am freezing Shirley with my wand. Damn. And I am ejecting her from planet Arbed with a remote control Christmas pterodactyl. <laughs> what a, yeah, that was a lot. There was a lot going on. Swaddled in her diaper. High upon her throne. Are we getting a song for every time it's my leaves? Wonderful. Let's get back to the magic journey and wrap up. Some of us have women to sleep with. It's so, okay. <laughs> Humbugs. Humbugs. Yeah, a whole swarm of them. See? Let me see. Okay, that's that's really cool. This animation is really cool. They have really cool designs for stuff. I like it. Somewhere out there, Tim Burton just got a boner. Jeff, yeah, that's what I'm so saying. Cool. Yeah. Oh, are they on me now? Oh, no. Only he could find the power to not be a smug douche. Uh, no, I can't do. I'm just a horrible guy. Guess I'll have to go get laid. Damn. That's a cool little skeleton. Mm. Bitter, shallow hipster, sweater, matching socks. Christmas needs more presents than a haircut in a box. What? Man, it is cave-like in here. What do you mean cave-like? It's a cave. The cave of frozen memories is a safe place where we can observe suppressed experiences without being affected by them. I, I'm focusing on a part of the cave and I'm seeing my 10th Christmas. How do you even know that's you? Well, it's my house on 52nd Street in Islington. What room are you in? What color are the walls? And that, he switched on you. Above the sofa. I'm Abed, reading Paddington he, books. He got you wrapped into it. Where's your dad? It's Christmas, Professor. Where's your dad? I don't know! We never Professor know! Professor Eve. I won't stop crying! I'm going to America with Grandma! <laughs> the wizard didn't bring us here to find the meaning of Christmas. And I can't have anyone going beyond this point that's on his side. Damn. With you to the end, man. Always. Yeah, of course Troy is. Like I said, I came for the cookies. Ah! I'm ejecting you for lying to trick me into therapy. Abed, they will kick you out of school. I was trying to save you. Yeah, but... You guys see the countryside? There's the Menorah Mountains. Enjoy the Menorah Mountains. Hey. Thanks for adding that, man. <laughs> this is... I like the rituals. My parents are divorced, too. My mom's Polish. She loves Christmas. Every year, she visits on the same day, December 9th. And every year, we sit and watch Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer yep. together. Every year. Damn, that's nice. But Abed, today is December 9th. Aww. It's the last day of classes. Aww. Yeah, that can't be right. She comes every year. Today must be December 8th. Aww. She comes every year. This is really sad. I... That's really sad. I know what happened now. It doesn't matter. I just need to get to the North Pole. Abed, there is no North Pole. We're in the library study room, and I'm not a Christmas wizard. I know. You're a Christmas warlock. <laughs> what? Snap out of it! Whoa, whoa, Leave him alone. Michael Jackson's dad? I 
Damn. <laughs> oh, now we're losing it. I'm on the roof of the train. Oh, great. Well, I'm teleporting there. I feel like I don't know. I do. I want to hear more about Abed and his mom. I want to hear more about this. Yeah, we're learning to teleport. Jesus. I'm I'm sad. I mean, Abed needs to do this on his own, but like he shouldn't be on his own when he, you know, gets to the root of his problems. I feel like it's just gonna be really depressing. Oh shit! I forgot he was here. I didn't want to go home. It's depressing there this time of year. What are we looking at? Santa's workshop. Oh, workshop, same thing. So, meaning of Christmas, right? You see it? Well, can it just be anywhere? Like, there? Uh, okay, all right. Good job, Pierce. <laughs> Lost? It's the first season of Lost on DVD. I still need to watch Lost. The meaning of I really I, I need to. Metaphor. These were mechanisms you used to escape this. What, is that a Christmas card? This Christmas card left where you dropped it on the floor of your door. Abed, I can't make it this year. I have a new family now. Oh. You'll meet them one day. You're a man now. Take care of Dad. Wash your duper. That's really sad. Has moved on. New family, new life. That's really sad. There's nothing left to do now but heal. I'm not gonna cry. Everybody, point your magic Christmas weapons at it. Okay, I I love how Jeff is dual wielding. The delusion you're trying to cure is called Christmas, Duncan. And when we all agree to support each other in that insanity, something even crazier happens. Try telling that to your catatonic friend. I True. Got a better idea. True. Why don't we sing it? Wait, what? I mean, you don't have to. Yeah, let's not go over. <laughs> we'll, we'll commit to something for a change. Let's sing it. Yeah, let's sing. Can we sing while we blow Duncan away? Absolutely. Nice. <laughs> Christmas time is a time to sing. That's what Christmas is for. Christmas can even be a Hanukkah thing. That's what. Come on, you're helping Abed. Come on, keep going. Hey. Nice. Read the notes, you guys. Nice. Way to bring it back. I get it. The meaning of Christmas is the idea that Christmas has meaning, and it can mean whatever we want. Yeah. For me, it used to mean being with my mom. Now it means being with you guys. Aww. Thanks, Lost. That's so good. That's so good. Were they uh they are watching Lost? No. Okay. Is this supposed to be Rudolph? I think I'm pretty sure. Oh, and then it's really them in the reflection. That's good. Really good. Well, I always liked the way fake food looked on those animated shows. I mean, get a load of these things. They are really stepped up a notch in terms of visual deliciousness. Visual deliciousness. I know what you mean. Look at that perfect bite. Yeah. It's a little odd that I see this too, though, don't yeah. you think? Yeah. Yeah. We're weird that way. Shared delusions. I'll say. <laughs> what? <laughs> <sighs> That's What better. the hell? So weird. Troy and Abed in stop motion. Nice. I love it. I love it. Ah, I love it. Well, damn. Well, I will say, while that was another great episode, that, that one was completely bonkers. I wasn't expecting the show to go into stop motion. Really wasn't. That That's just something I kind of never would have thought of of this show. I mean, I guess Always Sunny did it, but it was like for a brief moment. It wasn't a whole episode. This was a whole episode, which is kind of insane. Um, They really went for it, though. Like, they really, they I, they went for it. It's kind of hard to commit to that the whole episode, but they did it. I mean, it's insane. But you guys know how I feel about watching holiday episodes while not being in the holiday. I just, it's, it doesn't make the episode bad. That's not what I'm saying. It just doesn't, I, it pulls me out of it. Cause I'm like, 
I want to be in the Christmas mood, but I'm not because we're in the middle of summer and I literally have my Halloween decorations put up. But it has nothing to do with it. Regardless, I like that episode a lot. And I'm definitely going to watch this again when it's around the Christmas time just to feel the mood and the intensity of the story a little bit better. Not that the saying the story was intense, but saying that the message behind it was very, it was very good and very pretty much just keen to Christmas. Because yeah, the, the, it was the the message of Christmas, I guess, is the whole theme of what it really means to certain people and what it means to yourself. So that's really great. That I that thing with that whole thing with Abed was just really sad and I wasn't expecting it. And it was just very heartbreaking because I just didn't expect that. So it was just something that caught me really off guard, especially with Abed, because he's one of the most wholesome characters in TV, just in general. I love Abed and just his mom moving on and just not, you know, helping our our our, our nice little man. It just sucks. It sucks so bad. But I'm glad his friends were there to support him, you know, as much as they fought back, you know, they tried, which is all good. And that's what we love about this group. No matter, like, how bad a path somebody's going down, not only say it's bad, but just how, like, I would just say bonkers, because it, it, they're never really going down, like, a bad path. They're just kind of just staying in their own delusion of whatever it is of the episode. And um, I'm glad that they all just kind of instead of like forcing somebody to change for the way that they like them they always tend to like curate to them and then to make them see the realness but live inside their delusion for a little bit to help them get the overall scale of what they're trying to learn just in a better way which is always really good i really like it a lot i like this episode a lot this was actually a lot of fun this is gonna be a different one to edit though so we'll see how this comes down but uh yeah i enjoyed this one if you guys enjoyed it too do me a favor like subscribe and share that helped me out a lot and help me say thank you to the members for sponsoring today's video thank you guys i love you guys you guys are amazing people cannot do this without you so thank you and uh yeah i have to edit both of these back to back so yeah i'll catch you guys later peace out